Now on number four, I want you to notice they are asking you for three separate numbers. They want you to do it for one half, okay? But in my example, I'm going to show you how to do it with two fifths. So going right back to the uh, bina binomial uh, distribution calculator that I shared with you, as a matter of fact, I moved one of the graphs over to the right, and I've got the mm, four th six things that they're looking for right here. Now notice, before you do this, you want to make sure your N is set to 10 and your P is set to what you're looking for. You're looking for one half. I was looking for two fifths. So I typed in under P equals two fifths. Uh, I could have just typed in 0 0.4, but I wanted to show you how to use a uh, fraction there. I already have my answers here and I know what the answers are, but the first one, notice how I have typed these rather than a, a greater than or equal to sign, I typed greater than, equal to. It's easier to explain that way, and it's just good for me because I'm a little bit lazy. I don't want to insert the math symbols. But greater than or equal to one. What I did there is I looked under the at least column greater than or equal to 1 means at least 1. So what I actually did is I came right here and I typed equals this cell. You don't have to do this on yours. I just simply wanted to show you where it is. So right there it is. I'll make it boom, make it yellow. I uh, set my cell up to round to three decimal places. In other words, I could have said equals this cell and it would not have been rounded, and I could have right-clicked and said Format Cells, um, Number Round to Three Decimal Places. Okay, boom. Now, I don't recommend playing around with your uh, binomial distribution calculator like this. I would simply type in the number and round it yourself, um, because if you forget and change something and save it, you you might mess the whole thing up. That, as far as uh, this calculator goes, you might want to keep two copies on your computer, one that you know is clean, in other words, that you haven't messed anything up on. If you mess something up, you can always do a, what is it, a control Z. Probability that X is greater than one. Think about that. Greater than one does not include one, so it means at least Two, so it's this number. It's orange. I'll make this orange so you can see that that is orange. Whoops, and this one's orange. So it's greater than one is at least two. Greater than or equal to one is at least one. I'm going to make that yellow. The probability that x is greater than four but less than or equal to 7. Think about that. Greater than 4 does not include the 4, so that's the probability that it is 5, 6, or 7 added together. And that's all I did there. I'm going to go out here to the right and show you what I did. I said equals the sum of the exact probabilities of it being 5, 6, or 7. So I sum those up. In other words, add them up. Boom, three, five, four, six, and when I round it to three decimal places, I get uh, 0.355. Let me see if I can come right here and copy this. Control C, and then put it out here to the side in quotes. Put it in quotes. It says AXL. Hey, don't do this right now. Just use the words. So I summed those uh, three probabilities. Cell C12, 13, and 14. All right, the probability that it's less than zero. It can't be less than zero. I can't flip a coin and get less than zero heads. Yes, I had negative four heads. Can't do that. The probability that it is less than or equal to four. Think about that. Less than or equal to four means it is at most four. So it's actually this probability. Let's see if I can make it a blue or something. 
That wouldn't let me, would it? Hello, my cat balloon. I'm um, somewhere messing something up. It's going to let me fill this in blue. Come on, let me fill it. It's not letting me fill it. Uh, it won't let me fill those, I guess. I don't know. But let's say, let's make this blue. It's not letting me fill right now. But the probability that it's less than or equal to 4 just simply means that it is at most 4. That's all it means. The probability that x is less than 4 or x is greater than or equal to 7. Think about that. That is less than 4. Hang on just a second. Okay, let's go back here. All right, I, I did this. 0, uh, less than or equal to 4. Remember, I said that that is at most 4. Now, less than 4 or greater than or equal to 7. Think about what that is. Equals the sum of everything less than 4 but not including 4, so the sum of the probabilities from 0 to 3. Oh, it's not letting me do that. Let's see what the problem is there. I think I didn't prop. Equals the sum. Sum. Okay. I didn't double click on sum. Sum of 0 to 3. Close that out and say plus the sum greater than or equal to uh, 7 means from 7 to 10. Close that out. And I get 4, 3, 7, 0. So x is less than 4 means the probability that it's 0, 1, 2, or 3. Greater than or equal to 7 is 7, 8, 9, and 10. So I'm adding those what is that? Eight probabilities together. Let's see if I can come over here and color these. Let's see if it'll let me color them. Make that purple. And I'm going to show you which probabilities I added together to get those purple. Let's make these purple. And let's make that number purple. So you see to get the probability that x is less than 4 or greater than or equal to 7, I add the probabilities of it being 0, 1, 2, 3, 7, 8, 9, 10. I do not include the 4 because it's less than 4. All right, I think I covered this one.